Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is another guest video by, I've been hanging on to for a while. Uh, this one from Avocado Zala in the Heavy Gundam on the Arctic base. And he titled this, If It Bleeds, We Can Kill It, which is a quote from Predator. Um, he started marking those as to where them f they're from, since I have not seen all the movies he has, which I deeply appreciate. I have never actually seen the original Predator. I they used to run Predator Two a lot on uh, uh, on UHF stations when I was young, but I have a feeling the original Predator just cost too much, so didn't run that one a lot. Never got to see it. Have to remedy that eventually. But as you can see, the charged uh, gun on the heavy gun them still packs a wallop. Well, still as of when this was recorded, which is probably a couple of years ago now. So. But yeah, Heavy Gundam is good. Um, that beam gun, 52-11 uh, to the rocket, that's pretty solid. And yeah, he's up here, he's going prone to get the, uh, or crouching to get extra damage. Um, that shot was not charged, I don't think, so probably didn't stun his ally. And set, uh, sent sorry anyway, nearly got a kill on that. I don't know if the uh, uh, frame launcher's Gatling has enough range to finish that person, but since he ha uh, has to get closer, uh, since the beam gun's recharging anyway, well, cooling down. I always think of it as recharging, but you get the idea. Um, you know, may as well make uh, get in there and make use of that. And yeah, doing a pre pretty good job of helping lock that down for number four. Yep, that is a kill. Okay, this is the level 1 Heavy Gundam, since it's at 450. Um, yeah, this is a 450 room, alright. G-Line uh, Standard, Camphor, Alex. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, some, to be honest, I have... Sometimes I can't tell by uh, unless I look at the mobile suits, and then sometimes I can't tell by the mobile suits. Going back to his sniping perch, and... Seeing what else he can get. Well, it looks like most of the fighting's happening on the other side of the map. Oh, good last second uh, uh, recovery there onto the uh, platform. Uh, it's... You can do a little bit of extra maneuvering, as I recall, if you are boosting forward off of a platform. Um, or if you just walk off of it, it uh, makes things a little bit easier, as I recall. Just You can do a little bit of uh, mid-air maneuvering that's harder to do without... Uh, without that. Like, I'm trying to come up with the right words for what I'm trying to describe, but it's with so many things now, with air boost and air jump and all those things, it's not a skill that comes into play as much as it used to, so I'm uh, kind of struggling to uh, describe it. But that is on me and my brain. But 3544, not bad. Yep, just taking a second to reset, sticking your nose out, it's a good plan. And, let's see, missed that. Yep, back up to the perch. It is not impossible for people to get up there to attack you, but you generally see them coming, unless they are stealth suits. And somebody wants to trade shots, they are just out of Zala's range. So, um, going prone might actually put the cannon just a tiny bit farther forward, but also finding, you know, closer targets also good. Another 3721 shot. This is an ace match, so in another minute or so, someone will be chosen to be the ace. Uh, it's based on score, and Zala has done a lot of damage here, but hasn't scored a lot of kills, so I don't see that being him. Um, I think that person just, uh, yeah, that was the hyper beam rifle on the G5, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I think they hit the, uh, I think they hit the ledge rather than the heavy Gundam. Uh, but the Gatling is gonna has you know aim assist that may help with that. So, but that's okay because the heavy or because the uh, G5 is now dead. Uh, yeah, but yeah, in 30 seconds, an ace will be chosen. The ace will be uh, the ace's kills and assists will be worth triple points. Killing the ace will be triple points to whoever does it. And of course, this is true on both teams. So yeah, the longer your ace is. Uh, on the field, and the longer the enemy ace is dead, the more potential for a high score you've got. So, so far they're running fairly even, but ace matches can change very quickly, so 
if everybody's well coordinated and understands what they have to do, they can absolutely mop up here. But like I've said before, it took me forever. It took me almost five years. Okay, Camphor is the ace. That makes sense. Enemy ace is a gym cannon too. That's interesting. But, yeah, it took me almost five years to realize that the, the reason that uh, Target Shuffle in particular, which is similar to Ace Match except only one person at a time is the Target slash Ace. But, yeah, it took me almost five years to realize the reason that those are torturous is that they usually end up running on Friday nights. And on Friday nights, one of the goals is to kill, uh, kill two enemy mobile suits uh, in two uh, separate rounds. So, yeah, two kills twice... So, playing modes where you, uh, you get the most points by setting up kills for allies on the day that has that requirement doesn't work out very well at all. So, see, I was about to say, probably a good time to switch to the beam cannon. Yep. Good precision shot there. The ace is dead. Um, not sure why... Uh, well, I am sure uh, why nobody on their team was uh, helping them, because, like I said, you know... Uh, the team that is m more willing to play by the rules of the ace match is going to do is going to do better. So, and uh, seems like Zala's team was doing a pretty good job of keeping their camphor alive, and the enemy team was just not even the same zip code as their. Uh... Ah, good, perfect. Yeah, I knew his uh, melee wouldn't uh, be enough to kill it most likely, and left it for the ace. So yeah, the. You know, like I said, this is the kind of score differentials you start getting w uh, very quickly when you're uh, dealing with a team that knows what they're doing in ace matches. But yeah, okay, so their ace finally got destroyed. Enemy ace is on the field. Um, Zala is uh, moving in. But I think they're... I'm not sure what's behind him. Might be a pixie? No, that looks like a full beam saber. I don't think it can be. But whatever it is, I think his team uh, ran it off, so that's fine. But yeah, 50 some seconds left. They've got a good solid lead. Um, the best thing that Zala can do right now is not get killed because they've got a, a strong lead and not uh, you know not giving up points to the enemy team is the best option. Whoa, good shot from that Jim Cannon too. You can definitely see how they became ace in the first place. Just and they are making up some decent ground by you know tearing through the rest of Zala's team. Zala's not uh, not unwise to be pulling back here, especially with 73 hit points. Well, wow. yeah, sometimes just just hiding is the best thing you can do, especially if you're uh, if the enemy ace is uh, looking for you. Luckily, they were busy with other things, but yeah, it looks like the uh, team started setting up kills for their. Uh, or the other team started setting up kills for their ace and trying to uh, protect them a little bit too late in the round, but they did manage to catch up a fair amount. But yeah, Zala's team was better coordinated from the start, and they took it. I like those colors on the camphor. I bet they're from something. But yeah, good uh, good round, and yeah, zero deaths on uh, in a support on the Arctic base. 49k damage, two kills, and yeah, just... Uh, one of the very valuable ace kill. And thank you very much for sending that my way, Zala. Sorry it took me so long to post it, but that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with uh, more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I have actually gotten a couple of requests done in the last few days. I'm just kind of trying to... Uh, I, I kind of want to save up a whole week of them and run them all at once if I can. But I'm... That all depends on how many guest rounds I tear through and how much I'm able to build up while I'm running them. So we will see what happens.